Welcome on in to another tip video here for you, College Football 25, talking about the all new pass mechanics that they have. They have four different options for you, and if you don't switch these settings, then you are hurting yourself in the pass game, and you are not giving yourself that skill gap that you need to advance to the next level. So do not forget to like, subscribe, sit back, relax. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video than normal, but that's just because I'm going to dive into the in-depth process of all of the passing mechanics that they have. So I hope you learned something. That's what we do here. We try to help you break down the tips, the tricks, the settings that you need to help you become a better player. So all I ask in return is like, subscribe, and um, yeah, let's dive right on into it. So before I do any of the actual breakdown of the new four pass mechanics, I just want to talk about one thing, and that's the controls, right? So obviously, if you play this game, you know all the receiver buttons, triangle, square, circle, X, or if you're on Xbox, whatever you're on, you know the buttons. But if you look in the top left, it says free form on placement. So you use L2 and then you use the left stick to move the reticle around. And I'm going to talk about all of this in a second. So if you go into your settings, you have four different options here. And you can see this pass mechanics breakdown here on the right. There's placement, which is you leave the accuracy up to the player rating, but you can choose the power and where the ball gets placed on the throw. And then you have placement and accuracy, which is it's all purely up to you. You decide the accuracy, you decide the placement, pretty much all up to you. And then you have classic, right? And I'm going to talk about this probably in a very dumbed down version. And I'm going to try to talk about this in a dumbed down version. So uh, if this is like very sometimes basic, it's because there's a wide variety of skill levels who this can potentially help. So just stay patient with me here. Uh, we're going to work on this together here. Classic is just you're regular. You hit the button and then that's pretty much it. Um, and then lastly is their revanch, pa revanch passing. So it's essentially classic passing, but on steroids, where you can actually choose perfect passes. You can do it based on ratings. Um, it's all pretty much going to work out that way. So you choose which one you want based off of whatever you, you pretty much had it there. Now, we have a couple other settings that you should probably be aware of, right? So passing slowdown. Um, you, I have this on off, obviously. This is not online. It's essentially just slows down during the passing. Um, you, I don't recommend turning this on if you ever think about playing online because it's just going to mess you up in the future. So I highly recommend keeping this off at all times. Pass lead accuracy is something to be very important that you make sure you have it on the right setting because this is when you throw the ball, how much your quarterback's going to try to lead your receiver into their route or into wherever you're trying to place the ball. So you can do a large one or you can do a none. So like I'll show you large right now. So I'll show you large, right? You can see super, super let him way too far. And then you can come back to it. And if it ever just locks up on you like that, you just got to go in and back out of the manner. It just means that you had the passing type on something where it's not really allowed. Then we'll go back to it. So this is none now. Same same throw, but this none. You can see it's right on target. And we're not leading the receiver at all. You're just throwing it to wherever the receiver is. So I highly don't recommend ever putting it on large. If you want to do anything, you do slight. I mean, not slight. You do uh, small. So it's either small or, or none are your best options here. So small, we'll show you small here. Even that can be a little bit too much. It's it's a very fine line on what it what you have here, right? So like that's leading the receiver and why it's great to lead a receiver because they're constantly running. But I'm gonna show you my settings and where the best settings are in the end of what exactly is I think the best. So that's just something to keep keep aware of. I like to keep it on none personally. Um, so let's just talk about these real quick. Classic is just you press the button and it does what it wants. So hit the button. There's no, there's nothing else. There's no other visual cues. There's no other moving the ball. You you are very limited, but you throw the ball to where the where the receiver is. It's your traditional how the football game used to be played. Um, if you, I don't recommend this, but if you want just the most basic settings because you just want to have fun, you just want to hit the button and let it do what it has to do. 
then this is for you. But if you ever want to be like higher skill gap, if you ever want to take that next step of being really good at this game, you can't be playing on this because you have to be putting it in different spots. So let's talk about revamp passing. This is just classic passing, but like kind of on steroids a little bit, right? So you're going to see this new meter that they added. It's blue, yellow, and there's also a red depending on how low your accuracy ratings are. So here, if you hit it into the blue, you're, you're likely to throw a completion. If you hit it into the yellow, you're less likely. It's kind of like a bullseye. And if you hit it into the red, you're pretty much, you're, you're not going to have that overthrow anymore, but you're pretty much just going to be a lot less accurate. So that was like their big change. In 2K, uh, 2K, uh, in 2014, uh, college football, you used to have like those massive overthrows where you just throw it right to the safety. They revamped that so that way you don't have to do that anymore. But you can see here, obviously, like this is classic on a little bit like where you can just place it. It's like classic, but placing. You can see I'm throwing it behind them a little bit. You just want to, if you're doing this and you are playing on this game mode, you want to be in the blue. You do not want to be in the yellow, and you do not want to be in the red. You want to stay in the blue zone as much as possible because that means that there's going to be a good throw. So that's not the one I recommend being in. I'll talk about that. But those, I'm trying to just cover them all. So let's talk about placement. So placement is a little bit of a newer one where uh, this leaves the accuracy up to the ratings, but you get to choose the actual placement. So we'll talk about it. You're going to see a reticle here. So you're going to see a reticle and a bubble. That gray bubble is the accuracy window of this quarterback. And you need to keep that reticle inside because that's his catch radius. That's the receiver's catch radius in which he could he can catch this ball. So you can see there, you just move the reticle to the right, and now I'm holding L2, and I'm using the left stick. It's throwing, it's throwing good good completions, but obviously pay attention to the bar because I'm going to show you guys this in a second. See how it's all yellow? That means that you're not doing any of the accuracy. That's purely up to the ratings. All you're doing is moving, moving the reticle around to see, I want to throw my receiver closer. Like if I want to throw this circle to the sidelines, you can see I'm leading him towards the sidelines now. It's a, very, it's a much better than revamped system. Um, and I think this is actually the second best system that you could potentially use. And just remember, I have lead pass on none. I have it on none. You can see here I'm throwing accurate passes. I'm still hitting people in stride. And now the last one here is, ac is placement and accuracy. So you choose both. So you choose the accuracy based on the bar. You're going to see it. It's going to be a green bar. It's going to be a yellow bar. It's going to be a red bar. And it's still the same move it. So you see you got a blue bar. That means we're accurate. Now I can hit it. I can miss it. Or I can hit it green. Right? And if I wanted to miss it, you can see orange, a lot less accurate. So you choose your accuracy based off of how long you're holding the, the actual throw button. And you see how accurate I can be? I'm on the dot, on the money, leading people perfectly in stride. Now you have to be careful now that reticle speed that I had. You can see there, if you move it outside of the actual thing, it will be not very good for you. There's a red one, right? So you can see how inaccurate this can be if you're not paying attention to this. You have to get used to it. You have to play around with it a little bit. But once you play around with it, you're going to be a lot better at this game. And this is the setting that I highly recommend being into. Um, I play on placement and accuracy. I play on none, and I play on reticle speed four. You can see here, you can turn the reticle speed all the way up, but if you turn the reticle speed all the way up, it's going to potentially get out of that line so quickly. You can see how like inaccurate you can be. Like why? It's, yes, it's good, but you can be leading people in the wrong directions all the time. So... This is where I play. I play placement. You can see we're just leading people. You want to hold it. Now, talk about like the distance of it. You want to hold it pretty much to the end. You can see when the meter first comes up, it's all the way at the back end. It's where you want it for the bullet pass. And you can even throw like deep balls as well. You want to just lead them. So this is where, where I like to keep it. Lead people all the time, and it, it just works out so much better.
So that's the passing mechanics. You can see the differences there. And like I said, I mean, reticle speed's purely up to you. You can play it as high as you want. You can play it as low as you want. Highly recommend turning your pass lead to none. But like I said, I'll show you one last time. Put it on medium right now. We're doing the same passing, right? So I try to throw that same pass I just threw to him and look how much it can lead. The none is where you want to be. You throw so many more incompletions on none. Okay, like you can keep it in the bubble. But everything else is just, uh, it, you're just leading way too much. And while I think it's a really good option, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. So I'd keep it on none. You can mess with the reticle speed all you want. Placement and accuracy if you really want to be an advanced passer in this game. So that way you can keep people at bay. You can place it wherever you want. You can dice up the defenses. You can pretty much hit your receiver wherever you want and do it. That is what I would recommend as the best setting for you. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this, if anything didn't make any sense, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Just like and subscribe. We have the revamp passing system. Like I said, if you want just basic, classic, or revamped, if you want to be that step above everybody else, highly recommend placement and accuracy because I think that is the best setting for the advanced user. And then always pass lead increase, none, because it is just too wild and you get offline very quickly. So I hope that helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check you guys out on the next tip video. Thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.